everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Carly. And I'm Britta. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, we'd love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. Yes, and today we're gonna do our quick, like our current five minute everyday makeup. We talked about this last week mm -hmm. and a lot of you guys seemed interested. So this is the makeup that we do Monday through Friday. We're just working from home. Well, if we wear makeup, we don't wear makeup every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, the only people we see are through Zoom. So we feel like this like makes us feel more pulled together, but it's super quick, super easy. We both don't wear mascara. Yeah, which is very a huge shocker. Um, but yeah, it's really quick. Mm -hmm. So we might like go slower here because we're explaining. Yeah, but when you're like going through it, it really is like five minutes. Yeah. Well, Britta looks a little convoluted. No, I just don't know what I'm using yet. Okay. <laughs> but, um, on an everyday basis, I like a tinted moisturizer type product. So today I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, and I just applied this like a little dollop of it on the back of a wet beauty sponge um, and then just apply directly to my face and I'm wearing sunscreen beneath it obviously me too and I've been really liking to say slip cover as like my everyday it's super sheer so honestly I just think of it as like another tinted sunscreen and I usually do like one and a half pumps on my hand and then just buff it in quickly um or use my fingers it's kind of like it's a thicker consistency at first and then once you rub it in it feels thinner so I I do like my hands actually, but today I just guess I felt like using a brush. I don't know. This one is like a, I mean, I did a full review on this. I can link below, but it's a nice like light to medium coverage. It does oxidize. I could probably go with light instead of light medium. Like it looks really good when I first put it on. It definitely oxidizes, but since I'm just at home wearing it, it's not like a huge deal, but I'll probably pick up another shade. I'm gonna put a little um, on my forehead. But I, I just like like the, this gives the perfect amount of glow and it just really does like make the skin look hydrated. I did a full review on this product as well, so I will oh, link that oh down no, below. Oh, my sponge. One second. Okay, for concealer today, I'm going to be using the Joa Dark Circle Corrector. This is like a holy grail concealer for me. I never talk about it on the channel because I feel like when we do more like a full cover, not full coverage, but like a full on makeup look, I'm using like the Clinique concealer that I love, but on days when I'm like just working from home on the Zoom, um, I really love this one. It really blurs the under eyes and it provides like a medium coverage. This is so good. I know I've talked about it before, um, but it's like the perfect moussey texture. I don't know. I can't say enough good things. I have a backup because they stopped selling Joa at our CVS, so I ordered it on the CVS app because that's how much I love it. Maybe I'll try to brighten up the forehead a little since this foundation is a little too deep for me too. And I'm using my beloved Kosas Revealer Concealer. It's my favorite concealer because it actually has like pretty good coverage, but it's really emollient, so it looks like skin. Um, I have a lot of dark circles. I'm gonna. I'm trying to use this one up. As I've said, it's shade three, and it's a little too yellow for me. And they just expanded the shade range, which is awesome. So I really want to use this up so I can repurchase in a better shade for me. Yeah, I wear that one a lot during the week too because I like that one if you don't set it and I don't really set my makeup during the week. Yeah, me either. So I, I've been using that one too, but I've, I'm have i really on this Joa Dark Circle Corrector train. I just okay. think it's so thin and nice under the eyes. Okay, then I always use cream products for everything else. So I'm going to go in with my Salt New York just the contour cream, um, not the bronzer because I like the shade of the contour better. Um, I'm just going to go in a little bit with that. And I'm using my Tarte Seashells Sea Breezy Bronzer. You can see I hit pan on this already. It's so gross because I literally use this like every time I do my makeup during the week. And my Real Techniques 220 brush. So how I use this, I know I talked about this combination so many times and I don't think I've ever demoed it. But I just dip directly into the pan like this. And because it's like a diffuse type of brush, like a duo fiber, it just like you can never really overdo it. And then I just start going here, like on the hollows of my cheeks. Then I bring it to the cheeks because I do want bronzer on the cheeks. Like it's so effortless. It's so easy to do. Um, I love that bronzer as well. It's just a lot darker than this and mm -hmm. less natural. So during yeah. the week, I usually use this. I'll use the Tarte like if I'm actually trying to look like I have like makeup on. I just love um, bronzer. It could be my favorite step just because I feel like it brings a life to the complexion super quickly. And yeah, I know this bronzer is dark and it doesn't really look like natural, but I It's love a really it. nice color though. Mm -hmm. And it is really easy to work with. These are so easy to work with too, the Salt New York. I'm filming like a full review today. Um, 
but yeah I love the contour shade and this is the it cosmetics heavenly luxe complexion perfection brush it's so old I've had this for like six years and it's still one of my favorite brushes I ever bought like it's so and I think they still make it it's just lovely um for blush I'm doing cream blush and I usually just like pick out of my drawer I have like five or six in my drawer at all times that I just love cream blush so today I just picked up the tower 28 um, Beach Please Blush and Magic Hour because I know a lot of you guys were curious about these blushes when I've talked about them in the past so I wanted to use it on camera um, and this is just like a peachy pink. It's actually more peach than I wanted it to be. I thought it was going to be more of like a dusty pink but it's okay. I still like it so I kept it. And I'm going to use the Ilia Multi Stick in At Last. It's a really pretty like mauve shade. So I'm just taking my Duo Fiber directly onto the bullet and then putting this on the cheeks. These do dry down almost like a matte finish, I would say, um, but they just wear really well throughout the day, and this shade is really nice for every day. Yeah, this is a really nice shade for every day, too, and I will say they're pretty pigmented, so I dipped it in, dipped it on my hand, as you can see, and then I'm kind of like using the excess just to like go in on my cheeks. I do find that this shade um, kind of blends in after like an hour um, more than the orange shade I have, the golden hour shade. Um, so this like looks more natural, which I like. And then after I'm done with those two products, I usually just go in with my sponge and like make sure everything's pressed into the skin and blended. Then I kind of like it too because I feel like it makes the blush and bronzer become one and you just look like you have a really natural, like nice flush on the skin. I'm going in with the Merit highlighter and Me I too. just usually um, put this on my two fingers like this and blend it in. Uh, right now my skin is so dewy because I haven't put any powder on so mm -hmm. you can't even really tell where this like starts and stops but I'm gonna powder some certain areas in a second. And, and this is how I apply it with a brush. I just go on the bullet like that and then just like stamp it onto the skin. It's so dewy. My skin is really dewy too. Like Carly said, like we don't really powder even if we well, look super shiny. Yeah, I'm camera. powdering a little. Oh, you are? Yeah. Um. I'm trying to use up this Pat McGrath powder, so I'm just going to um, kind of powder certain areas with like a big brush, like nothing, like I'm like we're going really fast. <laughs> I know. Well, it's supposed to be quick. I know. That's true, I guess. Um, just trying to, like I just lightly, really lightly powder certain areas. Like even right here on my cheek, um, I have a lot of like pores there, so I do try to like, if I am going to use powder, put it in that area so it doesn't look... Um, you know, like there's a ton of pores there. And then sometimes I'll like look at myself and be like, oh, I kind of like need more blush again. So then I'll just go back in with my blush brush and kind of like put some more on. Uh, you can see I just used the CoverGirl pencil and filled in sparse areas of my brows. I really didn't fill in that much. Then I'm just going to use the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. That's what I'm doing too. Um, this is just really good for every day. Oh wait, I skipped a step. I usually never wear mascara anymore during the day because it's just like the one thing that irritates my it just irritates my eyes and distracts me when I'm working. Oh. So I'll just go in and curl my lashes. So I want to do this step so you could see. Because at least it helps somewhat, you know? I don't do that, but that's okay. You um, don't curl your lashes when you don't wear mascara? No. Hmm. I feel like it makes such a difference. Look at I guess I just don't, I mean, no one can see them on the zoom anyway. Yeah. It just holds well for me. Um, painfully. and then I always go in, I just want something in my crease. So I'm just going to take one of my Sydney Gray shadows on um, one of these lighter shades. I think this is creme brulee. I honestly don't know what the shade is. You can go in with any mid-tone matte. Um, I just think it adds like a little definition if I'm not wearing mascara. I just like my eyes to be defined by something. And it's pretty effortless to just throw something in your crease. You could even do this with bronzer, but since I used the cream bronzer, I couldn't do that. And that's it. But like Carly said, today I'm just feeling extra dewy. So I'm just going to dust a light dusting of powder, um, the Lawless powder. Like right here, I feel like if I don't powder this, it looks really weird. And then just that's like, what I said, like right here where I have like pores. Yeah. Um, and that's then... It. Yeah, I just did the Patrick Top Brow Wax, and then I really love the M Clear Lip Cushion for, like, um, it has no color, so I just, like, put that on when my lips are feeling dry throughout the day. That's really it. Yeah, me too. Super I wonder simple. how long it actually took us to, like, explain everything, but... I know. I feel like I love this look just because it really brings, like, the bronzer really helps bring life to my skin when I'm just on the computer all day, mm -hmm. um... But like adding some brows makes me look more like put together. It's yeah. very glowy and dewy. It looks really healthy. 
Yeah. Um, I feel like if I don't do my makeup, I just feel kind of like blah. Me too. So like, and like you guys saw, this took no time. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's just like forcing myself to be like, oh, I'm in between calls right now. I'm just going to put on some makeup to like feel better. Yeah. And it always does. Like this makeup look definitely always makes me feel better. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Um, if you've tried any of these products, let us know or like, What's your go-to base when you're just working from home? Like, yeah. do you like tinted moisturizer? Do you like like a tinted SPF mm -hmm. and like that's your jam? Um, we'd love to hear because I, I mean, now that like this is the makeup I do more often than anything. I know, I'm right? like, always down to like explore new cream products. Me and too. Like that. Me too. It's like you get really into like yeah these cream products or like a natural looking base product mm -hmm. because we're not going anywhere still. Yeah. So it's really nice to kind of like discover a new realm of makeup. Yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a good week, and we'll see you in our next video.